Okay, so um, my name's Martin Polyakov. I'm one of the many professors in chemistry. There are 20 professors, I think. Um, and so what I'm going to do is to tell you about something which is, um, <clears throat> has been quite fun, but is absolutely the antithesis of what um, Richard was talking about a few minutes ago. There are no learning objectives, nothing else, no planning, no storyboards, and so on. So it's presentation by me and my um, team of colleagues. So the whole project began <clears throat> with collaboration between video journalist Brady Harron and me, and gradually expanded. And we had the idea that we would like on YouTube to put a periodic table. I hope that most of you have heard of the periodic table. If not, it is the list of 118 elements beginning at hydrogen and ending up with this one with the unromantic name of UUO and, and Optium. And the idea is to have one video about each element. So there are 118 elements. And if you click on one, say hydrogen, up comes a little video about hydrogen and so on, up to an octium. And um, so we decided to, to start on June the 9th, and we finished by July the 17th with 120 videos. So there are 120 because there's a trailer, which if it works, I will show you in a moment, and one introductory video as well. And there was really no time for any planning at all. We, I sat down on June the 9th and I recorded the first 36 elements in two hours. And I made the arrogant decision that because of speed, I couldn't look anything up. So the, I just, whatever seemed funny or amusing, I brought in. So um, now I will try and show you, in case you haven't seen it, um, video. Is it going to work? Not going to work. Um, I will show you the video in a minute at the end. Um, so um, I forgot to update the, the, the headline. The headline is the number of hits in January. It's now about 7 million hits. And here, uh, the hydrogen has now got to 178,000 and something. Th these numbers were on Friday, so they have changed from then. Lutetium was the, worst, the least popular element, but it is now shot up to, I think, 118 minus 3. So it's 115th in the list and 5,000 and so on. Most interesting is this one, UUS, where nobody has discovered even one atom of the element. Yet more than 7,000 people have watched the video. <laughs> and um, so uh, th there was a map in Richard's talk of the countries. These are all the countries where ours has been watched. Um, I have just, because of Nottingham, hi highlighted Malaysia and China, where we have campuses, and Ethiopia, where chemistry has strong links. But you can see there are a huge number of different countries. I think there are 210. Um, I had to go smaller and smaller font size to get all of this on the screen. And the, one of the nice things about YouTube is that people put lots and lots of comments. And so you get automatic feedback. And so here are three of the early comments. Awesome vids, wish you'd found them before I, I'd, fa I'd found them before I'd done my science GCSE exam. Of course, this doesn't say whether it is somebody who's just done GCSE or whether it is some middle-aged nerd who is regretting his lost <laughs> past. Um, I like this one. I love your videos, just watching the videos. I've learnt more than a full term at college. <laughs> and, <coughs> and videos like these is what makes me interested in school and better improving myself. Thank you. And so these are latest com comments on June the 20th. That's on Friday night. I got a message from Marcos, who's a schoolboy in Brazil saying, I met you through the periodic table of videos, <coughs> like I think many other people, and I have to say how much I appreciate it. And at the other extreme in June, the 
EPSLC published their International Review of Chemistry. This is the State of Chemistry Research, which was published on June the 12th, in which, in paragraph five point something, it said, particularly impressive was a presentation describing online outreach, including a YouTube video on the periodic table of the elements. Um, you can see the EPSRC cannot spell YouTube. There is no space in the middle. Uh, but um, so from the point of view of, um, if you like, the research standing of chemistry, this thing, which is really done largely for fun, has had quite an impact. It is one of the few identifiable things in the whole report from beginning to end from any university. Um, so it has had a large number of um, <coughs> articles from all sorts of things, Russia, Turkish BBC service, this Israeli um, um, newspaper, it took me nearly a year to have this translated. It says the professor looks as if he went into the barber and said, give me an Einstein, but make it look wild. <laughs> and, um, and the one I like best is the Guardian Media said, it was a brilliant idea. Um, some of you may know that my brother is a film director. He was in yesterday's Sunday Times Colour Supplement. And when this appeared, for the only time in my entire scientific career, my brother phoned me and congratulated me. So <laughs> I feel... Um, so now what we're doing, where after we'd completed it, we realised that people wanted more, and we're particularly aiming at building up the number of subscribers on YouTube. People can subscribe on YouTube, and then every time they log on, or they get details of what are the new um, videos on their favorite subscribe channels. And so the way we've done this is partly by doing what might be termed as topical extras. Um, for the, the first one, for the Olympic Games, we did gold, silver, and bronze. Um, for those of you not chemists, bronze is not an element, but a mixture of two metals. Then when there was a leak of helium in the Large Hadron Collider, we did a video on that. The, when the Nobel Prize for Chemistry was announced in October, I recorded a video about it, actually, as soon as I had watched it on the screen. I was videoed watching the result being announced, and then I turned to the camera and tried to explain it with about 30 seconds pause, which is not shown on the video. And in the first week, we got more hits than the official Nobel Prize sign. <laughs> and one publisher has actually used this video or linked this video to sell books about the green fluorescent protein, which is what the prize was about. And then we've had um, can a few other things, candles for Halloween, which has now gone up to 350,000 and got, um, and <coughs> tea chemistry, which has perhaps also been very successful. And the most successful of all we've done was the chemistry of roses and um, chocolate for Valentine's Day, which got more than a quarter of a million hits in one night, which is considerably more than all the people I've lectured to in the, my whole life. <laughs> and that was while I was asleep. And <laughs> then we've updated various elements. And just to show you, for example, ytterbium, the old version, got just over 6,000, oh, 5,000 hits in six months. The new version got nearly 10,000 hits in two weeks. And last night, we had 13,799 subscribers. It's, this morning, it's 805. And for comparison, Chelsea Football Club on YouTube has less. <laughs> and, um, and what's interesting is that... Um, in the past, um, I, I first did this on Friday night and then updated the numbers. Between Friday night and Sunday night, ours had gone up by nearly 50 subscribers and Chelsea's had actually dropped. <laughs> so um, now the, um, <coughs> we've done, gone up to exhibitions and um, this is the Chemeng 08 exhibition in Birmingham, where we actually won the um, 
Award for Educational Excellence of the Institution of Chemical Engineers. And um, we have also, we're preparing a display for the Catalyst Discovery Centre in Widnes, which is the only chemistry museum in the UK. And the display is due to go on stream quite soon. And so, just to summarise, it's unique. There's nothing like it on um, YouTube. It's very good publicity for Nottingham. We've had lots of comments saying, I'd really like to be a student at Nottingham. And <clears throat> we've now also um, spawned a website for physics with similar videos about physics called 60 Symbols, um, in which I have a couple of guest appearances. I had my brain scanned for this. And I think there's huge future for scope for developing the future. And most importantly, it makes chemistry fun. So I just want to end up with a picture of the um, our team here, which was a still that was taken when we were shooting video about a birthday cake, making a birthday cake, because tomorrow is the, you know, Wednesday is the first birthday of our website. And um, the cake videos had 2,213 hits in the first 15 hours. So we're gradually going up. So, just, I will see whether I can um, play the, um, <coughs> the video now, in case some of you have done it, and if not, you'll just have to ask me questions instead. How on earth do you make this bigger? You can make it bigger. It's probably okay. So I should say that we tried to blow up the birthday cake, having made it, but you'll have to wait till Wednesday to see what happens. Um, and I should also say that this has had quite an impact in my own life. I have been stopped in the street in Nottingham by complete strangers saying they've seen me on YouTube. I've even been stopped in the departure lounge at Birmingham Airport by somebody who said that he had seen me on YouTube but then spoilt it by saying, didn't I come from the University of Leicester? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>